OK, so let's say I've got the line y equals 2x plus 3, and I want to find the area between the line and the x-axis here. OK? So I could be looking at that and going, well, seeing as it's a trapezium, I could just find the area of the trapezium or split it up into a rectangle and a triangle. I'm going to use the trapezium, um, trapezium rule, effectively. So I'm going to need to know that height there, so I'm going to need to know that value. So that's when x is 5, so y equals 2 lots of 5 plus 3, so 10 plus 3, so 13. Okay, so the area, shaded area that I've got there, is 1 half times by h, uh, which is effectively the width here, the 0 to 5, times by a plus b, the 2 lengths that I have there, so 3 plus 13. Okay, so we've got um, half times 5 times 16. Now 16, half of 16 is 8, 5 lots of 8 is 40. Okay, so the area of that shape is 40. So why have we got this in the integration section? Well, because um, through the fundamental theorem of calculus, it shows us, uh, and I've done a video on that um, at the beginning of this section on integration, it showed us that integration could be used to find the area between a function and the x-axis. So actually what we can do is we can integrate 2x plus 3 between 0 and 5. So we're now going to have limits on our integral so that we integrate the 2x plus 3 to x squared plus 3x, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. OK. And then we're going to evaluate it. Now, you might be thinking, well, usually we put in a plus c constant of integration there. So let's do that. OK. And I'll show you what happens. OK. And we're going to put our integral into square brackets and now the limits appear on the right hand side okay it's a very specific way of writing down your answer okay but it makes sure that you're keeping track of what you need to do next because now I need to substitute in the 5 into this so I substitute in the 5 it's useful to open up brackets at this point I substitute in the 5 and take away substituting in the 0 so substituting in the 5, I'm going to have 5 squared, so 25, plus 3 lots of 5, which is 15. And I've got that plus c constant of integration. Substituting the 0, I'm going to get 0 squared, plus 3 lots of 0, plus the c, the constant of integration. And what you'll notice here is that the c, take away c, these bits will always cancel. The constant of integration will go. And so really, I don't need to put it in at all. OK, so that can go. So when we are finding the error under a curve or a line in this case, we can ignore the constant of integration, which gets, gets us to this stage here. 25 plus 15 is 40. Take away 0. And you can see we get to precisely the same answer. Now you might be thinking, well, why would I bother going through integration when I can just find the area of the trapezium, which is a, a lot easier. Well, this method and this uh, process using integration isn't limited to just straight lines. This will allow you to find the exact area between a curve and the x-axis. Okay? It's not just limited to straight line equations. So this is, this is limited to just straight lines. This isn't. OK, so it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities of being able to find the exact area between a curve and the x-axis.